This is a Miley Cyrus Lego minifig sat on a wrecking ball. And this is a Lego wall. Well, it was a Lego wall. Hey, good job, Miley. Wait, why is she licking the sledgehammer? So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be turning real-life famous singers into custom little minifigs. Alongside some custom Lego sets. Including this big concert stage with all the singers I make in this video. Filled with hundreds of minifig fans to determine who's the best singer of all time. And the winner will get this golden microphone trophy. Size doesn't matter, okay? So starting off, I wanted to recreate this music video from Billie Eilish, where she cries with this weird black stuff coming out from her eyes. I got to making the face textures straight away using an image as a reference. Hey, looking good. After that, I added in these black liquid lines dripping down her face. Add a matching blue hairpiece and quickly make some textures for the rest of the minifig. Her clothes are pretty much all white with some chains hanging from her neck. Okay, cool. So now we have a crying Billy. And we need to add the chair and make the entire room white. Perfect. Now Billy is ready to go onto the main stage. Okay, now I want to make a fun build. So I decided to tackle this very questionable outfit that Sam Smith wore. Bro literally thinks he's an inflatable sofa. Anyways, after quickly making textures for the face, I also added in a full black body. But we are still missing all the thick parts. So to fix that, we can use some super glue and attach some Lego wedge pieces to his legs and arms. Okay, this actually looks pretty similar to the real thing. But unfortunately, you can no longer fit through Lego door frames. Don't worry, Miley can help us with that. We'll see you on the main stage, mate. Moving on. The weekend got fake plastic surgery for one of his music videos, which made him look like the ultimate chad. Honestly, this man do be looking like handsome Squidward. Anyways, I tried my best recreating his unique look as a Lego minifig, and I ended up using some face lines to outline his features. Next, we can slap an afro on top, and quickly make some textures using a real reference image. He's got a black shirt with a tie, covered by a red jacket on top. Though we can see in the original that the jacket has a reflective glittery look to it. So I quickly added that in as well and he be shiny. I also noticed he's holding a gun and a microphone. So I quickly added those in and he's looking like a true chad. He's definitely ready for the competition. Now take a look at this completely normal picture of Ed Sheeran. But wait, just zoom in a little bit. Bro, I legit thought it was just all orange leaves. Let's make this in Lego. So his style is pretty simple. He's wearing a plaid shirt and a coat on top of some jeans or whatever. So that's exactly what I remade for the minifig. I quickly remade his face textures, slapped on some hair. Your boy looking good. Let's add some ground and obviously copy the head a bunch of times to make up the leaves. I think this has to be the most minifig heads I've ever seen in the same set at once. This is actually quite cursed. But the good thing is, it looks pretty accurate to the real thing. Let's drop Ed onto the stage. Next up, Taylor Swift is wearing this dress that makes my eyes go funny. And I recreated the same thing for her minifig. This is really horrible to look at, not gonna lie. But she's actually known for getting quite a lot of trophies for her work, so we can give her one of them as well. Damn, that's looking shiny. Onto the main stage she goes. We'll make Lady Gaga next. She's pretty much known for wearing some of the craziest outfits. I mean, she literally wore a meat dress once. Hey, yo, whose meat was that though? But after spending some time strolling through Google images, I decided to go with this spiky fit she once wore. So I quickly made a face, making sure to add in that black eyeshadow and black lipstick. Now for the actual minifig body, I basically used these Lego fins and placed them all over the minifig to mimic the original inflatable spikes. And if you're wondering how they held in place, it's just pure magic. Or you know, could be super glue again. This is definitely one of the strangest minifigs I have ever made. I can't lie. Either way, she joins the rest up on the stage. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has seen this really annoying Just Eat ad featuring Katy Perry. Honestly, there's been times where I'm trying to fall asleep and it's just playing on repeat in my head. And if you can't beat them, join them. So it only makes sense if we remake this cake outfit from it. I made a two-level cake using these circular bricks along with some pink flat tiles on top. I also made these ice cream cones that go all the way around the cake using some cone and stud pieces. Then slap them onto the side of the cake. And honestly, this is looking pretty tasty. I'd eat it, although you might break your teeth because it is still Lego. But besides that, I also placed the minifig upper part on top with some custom texture work, along with Katy Perry's head and a hairpiece on top of all that. Even if she doesn't win the award, she'll have loads of cake to eat if she's feeling sad. She does also have a few of these ice cream people around her, but I don't have any ice cream minifig outfits, so instead she'll be surrounded by the banana people. Okay, okay, the stage is looking better and better. So I just had a random thing pop in my head. No, my bonsai tree! But anyways, just as I was saying, have you ever thought about just how small these Lego minifigs are? Like, I have two tiny chihuahua dogs, but even next to them, the minifig is still, like, the size of an ant. So I will literally attempt to build the biggest Lego minifig you've ever seen in your life if we can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. So drop a cheeky sub if you want to see me do that. Plus, I'll keep making more cool minifigs like all of these guys. Anyways, one of my favorite artists is the boy, Post Malone. And as we all know, his face is quite covered with tattoos. So I wanted to include small details like this on a minifig. So I recreated his face tats and slapped them onto his little face. And to make sure I got them right, I literally traced over the original ones so the shape stayed the same. I honestly think they came out looking pretty sick. I was also going to add this hairline barbed wire, but once I placed the Lego hairpiece on top, it wouldn't be visible anyways. Now outfit wise, I wanted to use this popular meme of him standing on a stage looking very shocked and surprised for no reason at all. So he's wearing this t-shirt that seems to have a bunch of faces on it. I used a picture of a Lego minifig, made it basically black and white and cropped it. After which I copied it a bunch of times all over the minifig upper part, adding variation, rotation and brightness for some of them. And it actually looks pretty 
pretty accurate to real life. And for the bottom part, I added these red trousers with a golden-ish line down the side, which goes nicely with the t-shirt. Last thing we need is to add the microphone in his hand and he's ready to join the others. He's also probably the nicest celebrity alive. Like, there's videos of him just handing out loads of cash to his fans, so we can also drop in some dollar dollar next to him so that he can give it away to everyone. Another chill artist is Lil Nas X. My favorite track from him is actually the first one he released, Old Town Road. And if you watch the music video, he's essentially a cowboy riding a horse and doing cowboy stuff. So I started by quickly remaking his face, making sure to also remake his shiny teeth grill. Okay, and next I wanted to recreate his outfit, so I got to making the textures. He essentially has a shirt underneath with a vest and a jacket on top. Then his legs are just one color because I'm lazy. Oh yeah, and obviously we gotta add in a cowboy hat. There's actually quite a few to choose from, like this Robin Hood looking one. We can even slot in a feather on the side. We have this medieval armor helmet. There's a pirate hat and just too many other cowboy hat variations. But in my opinion, this one looks the best. And in true cowboy fashion, we can also give him a Lego revolver. But we are still missing a horse that he can ride, which is a pretty big part of the song. So being the Lego god that I am, I just spawned one right in front of him. I was feeling extra nice, so I also made this tiny desert environment for him. Using a sideways building technique with these bricks scattered throughout, to which I can attach some plants or whatever. Also, animal skulls are usually related to cowboys, so I dropped one of them in as well. And this is what the final build looks like. Pretty groovy. All right, we're actually getting somewhere now. So it's time for a quick fire round. We have Ariana Grande, who pretty much is obsessed with wearing these long hoodies basically as her entire outfit. So I did the same thing for the minifig. The original jumper did have some text on it, but I don't really know what it said, so that's exactly what I did. Also, there's an image of Little Earth, so I added in the Lego one. There's actually two. She also has this green bag, which is nicely replaced with this green Lego bag. She, she looks fresh. Next up, we have Harry Styles. And I wanted to recreate this funky outfit he was wearing in this photo. He's got these long white trousers with some gold buttons on them, along with a pink shirt and some trouser suspenders. And I also wanted to remake the fisheye angle of the shot. So I quickly made a white floor and started setting up the camera. And using the image as a reference, I can correctly position the minifig and take the shot. Hey, now that's pretty good. We also have Rihanna wearing this full red outfit. And I mean, that was pretty easy to remake. That's about it. Next is Selena Gomez, who dresses pretty casually most of the time. So for the minifig, I went with this ACDC top for which I could basically use the original t-shirt print and some jeans for the trousers along with some boots. That looks pretty good when compared to the original. But wait, who's that in the background? Oh, never mind. It's just Justin Bieber who happens to randomly be in the same place as her. Not sus at all. Anyway, he's grown out his little tash and he's wearing a backwards pink hat along with a white t-shirt and some pink shorts. Maybe you'll get her back one day, bro. One day. But right now, it looks like she's dating Shrek. Yeah, this is his swamp now. So now the stage is fully populated with all the contestants and it's basically made up of a load of bricks for the base and flat tiles for the floor. I even included some stairs on either side to make it easier for the minifigs to get on and off the stage. I didn't like how the front looked as it was a bit boring so I wanted to include some wooden planks. I also added these stage lights on the front using some sloped brick pieces and then added some glowing light bulbs in. The stage is getting there but how are we going to play music without any speakers? So I built up the bass using some bricks and flat tiles on top to make it smooth. Then using some golden dish pieces we can recreate the speaker cone part and add some smaller ones to each one. This speaker is massive but it moves way too much when blasting some tunes so I made some brace pieces on either side to hold it in place. The last step is to copy it three times. So we have four massive speakers that would probably make you deaf if you listen to them at full volume, but we are missing something from the center. And since this is a music competition, I want to add this golden statue that's meant to look like an actual waveform. Lastly, I added some scaffolding with more lights on top of it. And the stage is finished. Here's what it looks like with all the finished minifigs on top of it. And honestly, I don't know who the golden microphone award should go to, so I'm just gonna let you guys decide in the comments below. Bye.